Hey guys, it's Morph. Welcome to my channel and to another Picard reading. The topic of today's reading is messages from your angels and deceased loved ones, ancestors in general, and uh, passed on loved ones that also serve as spirit guides, ancestors who serve as spirit guides for you in this lifetime. Um, I will also uh, give you a channeled message through automatic writing and this is something I do for the very first time so I don't know how that's gonna go but we're gonna give it a try. Um, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, and uh, this is timeless as well. You can come back to it whenever you feel like it. And um, today I'm gonna be using the Healing with the Angels Oracle cards, the Psychic Tarot of the Heart, and the well being cards from Esther and Jerry Hicks. The teachings of Abraham. So we have these three groups to choose from. The first group has a feather with the white and brown color. The second group has a white feather and the third group has a feather with the white and gray. Timestamps of each group are in the description below. And I'll just give you some time to choose your group. By the way, sorry if I sound a bit off, place during this reading um i haven't been really resting this day so i'm sure that uh, you will understand So let's start with group number one. Group number one, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages your angels and past and loved ones have for you. Let's do some ancestral healing now here. Alright, so first off, I get the vibe that you've been wanting to connect with a soulmate or soul connection, a divine connection. You've been wanting to have a sacred union with that person, but the timing was not right. Uh, some other things had to fall into place first and this hasn't worked out for you at this time. Uh, but I'm getting the feeling that this time this divine timing is giving you this opportunity to um, accept and love yourself more because that's the energy that you will vibrate out in the universe and you will uh, attract this love to you. So the angels are really telling you to really be compassionate with yourself and practice, practice acts of love and self-care towards your body. Um, 
your creations like what you do in life and don't judge don't judge yourself or anyone or what you do or what you don't do just be in a state of allowing and receptivity more because that's the energy that you want to attract right you don't want to attract a connection from a, a place of not uh, feeling good enough or not having enough or this lack mentality it's my dog snoring in the background i hope he's not too noisy okay um so yeah there is divine playing uh, <laughs> divine playing at time <laughs> divine timing at place here and uh, let's see what the, the other cards have for you all right so again the your guides and your angels and your ancestors are urging you to be that love that you seek to stop looking outside of you and just create more firm boundaries with yourself with your life and your environment um, give your attention to the physical we have a body care here and we have a root, root chakra base chakra uh, really build your foundations so that you can you know attract this love and share the love that you have within you because it's already there you know you don't need a specific reason to show love to yourself or others it's just the reason that feels good is good enough you know be willing to give be willing to receive there has to be an equal give and take energy this natural flow of things maybe your uh maybe your ancestors your past and loved ones maybe they didn't have this chance in their life to be with the true love of their life because they were living in so many conditions and have to's and should haves and they didn't get the chance to really be with the love of their life and they're they're really wanting you and they're really helping you in this lifetime to uh, do the right thing for you and not repeat the same mistakes so that you can unite with your soulmate and you know the saying what's the saying <laughs> like your mate is your own soul you know so mate with your own soul first and then you will attract that in uh, from another person at divine timing because if you attract this person now it's gonna crumble all of it because it doesn't have stable foundations yet but you're you're building them now this this is the period that you're building them and you know have fun doing that because it's not the end result it's not like if i get this thing i would be happy no you're you're happy on the way you're you're enjoying the journey it's all about the journey it's not about the destination when the destination comes it's done it's done and you might even say oh why did i rush this oh uh i wouldn't mind having more time before this happens you know because it's all in the journey that's the flow of life the flow of life is not rushing to get you there and then it's done there's always something more and more and more so yeah accept your path and embrace your journey and trust more and trust your guides and trust that you have help around you and embrace yourself and this earth that you're living on in reverse it just means to pay more attention to it right so just embrace everything just be in the now more live in the now your your past and loved ones were so used 
to strive and struggle and get everything just the basic needs you know like the food the shelter the safety this was the focus and yeah it is your focus here as well at this time and because they've mastered it so well they're helping you to master this too here because as above so below we cannot reach high if we don't have a strong basis if we don't have strong roots a tree without strong roots it can't reach high you know it can't extend its branches high to the sky and connect with father sky as it connects with mother earth And choose your battles we have as a final card here. I'm getting many things from this card. Um, I'm getting that <clears throat> you might be um, listening to what other people think about your choices and uh, you, you know you need to leave everyone else's opinion out even if they truly love you and care for you and they want your good because you know what only you know what's good for you only you know, you know what's in your heart what your heart desires are only you know, you know your path and the, the wisdom you've gained from your own experiences honor your unique path Honor your unique callings. Only you know, you and your source, the source within you, your soul, your oversoul, your spirit, however you want to call it. Honor the wisdom of elders and people who really care about you. But your ancestors are saying that we are no longer in life, but we watch over you and and as your guides, we want the best for you and we're guiding you because we see, we see from here where we are, what's the best for you. We are connected to your soul and we cooperate with your soul to guide you into better choices in your life and uh, to help you refocus and um, not give so much energy and attention to what doesn't serve you right really uh, uh, really um, check your uh, steps before you make them if that makes sense don't rush into any decisions or actions like take it a step back and assess the situation because you may be facing a few options now maybe you have three options now you know maybe um so, so I, okay i'm getting that if there is like if you if you if there are two people in your life for example and you're thinking shall i choose this one or that one and the universe might tell you where what if none of those choices are best for you what if there is a third choice there that is better for you and you might may you may not be seeing it now because you're either stuck in the past or you're so agitated about your future that you forget that your now is the most important and if you don't accept and embrace the now which basically means you don't accept yourself because that's a part of you as well um, you can't make uh, good decisions from that space from the space of worry and from the space of anxiety and from the space of what if uh, this thing happens so i have to you know uh, there, there is some sense of uh, feeling unsafe here and a bit threatened 
like your basic needs you know and it's only natural i mean we're in a phase now that is not the best for our uh, safety but you need to remember that it's all energy and vibration first and and then all the rest right just make peace with everything because I feel that you're rushing, that you, you're you rushing to get there, but uh, you're not paying so much attention to what's here now, you know? The here and now is your after. Your after is coming from your here and now, and you only have here and now. Now, 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 like we only have now, right? So just take it a bit easy and don't rush and just express yourself from the, from the place of your heart yeah everyone everyone is uh, is trying to help you make peace with yourself more and they want to show you they want to show you how beautiful you are inside out and that you deserve to honor yourself and take some time to acknowledge the beautiful being that you are and reflect on that and and then you will share that love with someone else but for now you need to build a stable foundation for yourself and you need to make peace with some things and embrace everything everything even the problems you know even situations that you don't like just embrace them just accept them make peace with them and allow them to change And you know what, maybe you don't have to to make a choice right now, like maybe all you need to do right now is, is to just step back a bit, you know, assess the situation, give it some time, give yourself the chance to see clearly, and then make a decision. So that's what I get from these cards. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get a channeled message, okay? Just give me some time, guys. So they do have a lot of love for you and they really want you to see that and to feel that because yeah you probably can't see it but maybe you can maybe you know maybe some of you uh, have seen the past on loved ones in your sleep in dreams and you feel that they're still there you feel it because because we don't see them we feel that we're alone and they're not there but they are and they, they just want you to know that they really love you love yourself and the situation they're telling me to tell you we are here with you we love you watch over you and take care of you call on us we are your guides we love you so do call on them you know actively call on them and who knows maybe you're gonna hear something back Maybe you're gonna feel their presence. Maybe you're gonna feel this opening in your heart. You know, and then you wanna go and share that love out in the world. Okay. Um, 
Let's see uh, what Abraham Higgs has to say for you from the well-being cards. Group number one. I take jumpers by the way because I don't want to impose my own energy on the cards, so I usually just wait for a card to jump and, and that's the, then that's the card I'll pick. So you have we are all working toward the same goal, joy. Hmm. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter what you do, it's just you know what brings you joy, right? And we're all, we all wanting that. That's why we do whatever we do. That's why we think we want what we want because we want this feeling of joy, we want to feel good, we want to feel better than we do. Whether it seems like it or not, you are all working toward this, the same ultimate goal of joy. You're just approaching things in different ways and all of it is working. Yeah. So make peace with it, you guys. Um... Yeah, let go let go of any struggle and give in give in to your connection give in to your alignment and uh, ground yourselves you also chose this feather with the brown color so brown is a very grounding color maybe you want to be wearing brown at this time just to feel more grounded maybe you want to do some gardening you know that stuff that helps you to ground yourself and spend time in nature as well connect with earth as well as with your guides So that's what I have for you, group number one. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like and uh, subscribe for upcoming videos. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye. Group number two, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages your angels and your past and loved ones and your ancestors have for you. So right away I get the feeling that you guys have been really um, studying <laughs> in this school of life like maybe observing a bit too much or I don't know on the other hand you may be also uh, reflecting on things and your experiences and uh, shining light in dark corners or seeing clearly patterns that uh, are coming out and arising at this time and uh, your angels want to remind you to have some fun and not you know like when we used to go to school we have the breaks too like we were playing with our friends and then after we were studying at, studying at home again we were you know playing with our friends or in our rooms doing uh, pleasurable stuff and enjoying ourselves and they just want to remind you to have a balance between uh, work and play 
and uh, because maybe that kind of made you feel a bit um, restricted you know especially now with the situation maybe you feel a bit restricted maybe you can't really go out of the house and uh, you keep like um, facing kind of the same situations and the same things or the same people and you kind of lost that wonder that newness um, but it's inside of you it's inside of you the purity you're looking for the excitement the playfulness the freedom that you're looking for it's inside of you it's a state of being so um i think that's a good subject to study you know <laughs> if you're gonna study something um study what brings you joy more and uh, what makes you feel free and just uh, break out of any limitations you have Yeah, um, now with these cards, I'm getting that uh, you either had a situation with another person that wasn't in balance, so it kind of took you out of your own balance as well. Um, and it cost you some pain, uh, like some some chain reaction like literally that's why this card is all about freedom here um when the cards are reversed uh, in this deck uh, i take them as to give just more attention to them okay i don't see any blocks i feel that you're in the process of balancing yourself and healing yourself i don't see any blocks because in reality there are no blocks it's just you and yourself and it's really the the dedication you have to to shift things to shift your reality to see things from a different perspective um Now your ancestors and past on loved ones uh, may lived in a time that couldn't really express themselves and speak their truth and they were feeling a lot of bondage, a lot of like, um, I have to be this way, I have to behave this way, I can't say that, I can't do that, that this is not allowed, all that stuff and uh, their whole being was not in balance overall and they, they really, I, I, I feel that your ancestors and past on loved ones really had these creative abilities, these talents, these, I don't know, maybe you yourself, you are an artist and you have all these things to express and create and uh, You really want to do that, but uh, you, you kind of feel this um, this restriction that you may also not know where it comes from, and maybe it's a part from your ancestors, and they really want to help you release that in this lifetime and express yourself and do the things you want to do and speak your truth and not not give a a rip what anyone else thinks about you and what you're doing and just just do you just do you and study your own experiences and only know you know your own path and so what you got what you have to do now is just get more balanced within yourself or with another person if you are with someone um your masculine and your feminine side and we do have a lot of blue here so maybe you guys are healers too maybe you have healing abilities maybe you want to try work with the color blue maybe your ancestors uh had healing abilities maybe they were shamans or you know doc doctors or they were um uh doing energetic therapies and energy work and energy healing and all that stuff reiki I, okay i don't think <laughs> i 
I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, for some of you, not all of you, of course, but uh, for some of you, I feel that your ancestors or past on loved ones had these abilities that maybe they didn't have a chance to explore and they really want you in this lifetime, they really want you to remember that you're very powerful and your power lies in your sense of freedom and in your light heartedness and you know being lighthearted is like the the ultimate receptive mode it, uh, it helps you to, to speak it allows you to do things from a heart space and because the throat chakra is the next chakra after the heart so you know with an open heart which i feel you you do you have a very pure heart um you, you just feel a bit restricted in expressing that and that's what they're helping you with at this lifetime to break from these chains to free yourselves we have freedom here like big times this guy is breaking uh, from the uh, breaking uh, free from the chains that were binding him and uh, this angel card also says freedom here again masculine and feminine right maybe you're the one <laughs> I get a sense that maybe your masculine is trying to control your feminine and your feminine is trying to control your masculine side like Maybe you're, let, let me give you an example, okay? Let's say you want to paint a painting and your masculine side is like, no, I want to do this uh, today at this time and this way. And uh, But your feminine does not work like that because your feminine is the receptive, is the flowing state. It just does what she wants when she feels like it. It just goes with the flow and doesn't have a, a schedule of a specific schedule or something specific in mind and and maybe your feminine is trying to control your masculine by being like you know um uh, give me you know nurture me or give me attention or don't be like that or don't do that or you know I want to feel emotions and enough with the practical stuff and like like your two sides kind of fighting each other you know being at odds with each other and you're kind of missing the point because when you were a child both of those sides were working together harmoniously because you were going with the flow and doing the things and going with the flow and doing the things and that's how the feminine serves the masculine and the masculine the feminine because you have everything within and you're the only one that keeps yourself chained basically and your ancestors really want you to realize your power your power to break free your healing abilities your power to heal yourself you are uh no one can heal yourself better than you guys i'm just telling you now so that you know if you're thinking to go anywhere for help help is welcome but i'm just telling you that you can help yourself better than anyone okay there is no one better than you to help yourself and heal yourself at this time but you have to detach, which is the last card that came for you. You have to detach, like big times, uh, freedom, like you guys, I don't know what happened, okay? Maybe you, you were feeling bondage in a situation with someone. Maybe you were feeling bondage by your own thoughts and emotions and actions and experiences. Um, but whatever the case, it, whatever the case okay know that all this energy that uh, you want to take out 
it would be great if you did that in a creative way and just express your truth express your truth to this person and tell them how you feel and don't be afraid to break free from this okay because i promise you you're gonna break free and you're gonna go somewhere that really benefits you and really makes you feel complete and yourself and the authentic you that you are and this is what your ancestors and passed on loved ones and guides and angels and everyone that's what everyone wants wants from you now to just break free from all these karmic patterns and cycles and outdated situations and connections and uh, self-limitations and behaviors and all of that stuff just take it all out and uh, express it creatively with love okay remember remember that your basis in this life is freedom and your purpose in this life is joy that's what you came here for okay you did not come here to be a slave to anything to obey to keep yourself limited to keep yourself in a box to be in a black and white environment you did not come for that okay yeah so now i'm gonna see what the channeled messages comes for you through automatic writing just give me some time you guys So they're telling me to tell you that karmic cycles are ending. This is a new start for you. Surround yourself. <clears throat> Surround yourself in blue light. Uh, I'm also getting Archangel Michael. Uh, this Archangel uh, is surrounding you at this time and is really helping you to break free from from any attachments and the uh, cords that you may have uh, at this point, okay? Um, let us help and heal you. Yeah, exactly. We love you. You are so pure. You are free now. And I just wanted to say, so might it be. So, so might it be. You're free now. You're free now. Uh, let's see what Abraham Hicks has to say for you guys for my group number two Abraham Hicks more blue <laughs> so it says i can relax into my natural well-being yeah well-being is natural you guys we forget that we forget that way we, we think that we need to achieve something to 
to feel good and to have this well-being but it's our natural state that's your truth the essence of all that you appreciate uh, is constantly flowing into and creating your reality it's so powerful like the essence of all that you appreciate are constantly flowing to you so yeah it's really important to appreciate and be thankful for all of your blessings right now and it's something that i i forget to do also like we take things for granted sometimes we don't see what's in front of us um and we forget to give thanks and appreciate what we have you know because the more you appreciate what you have the more of that is coming to your experience and who doesn't want more right <laughs> more of the good stuff as you appreciate your state of appreciation opens more channels that allow you more for which to feel appreciation yeah exactly exactly you're a channel for divine energy so do be thankful you guys and leave the rest behind and free yourselves you have so much and you're so powerful and you have so many abilities that you have yet to explore so i just want you to be a bit eager about this and excited and more playful about life in general um because great things await for you like the channel message said karmic cycles are ending so i get that you might be feeling uncomfortable because you're in the verge of you know the old and the new going towards the new but every stage of transformation can be uncomfortable you guys but uh, you're becoming a butterfly so yeah just allow your freedom to occur okay well-being is natural So that's what I have for you, group number two. Um, I hope that this resonated and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Group number three, welcome to your reading. Wait, yeah, my bad. This is the group. <laughs> I saw the feather. Okay, so you chose this feather with the white and gray colors. So let's see what uh, your angels, your ancestors and past on loved ones want to say to you. All right, guys, I resonated with this pile because this pile is telling me, is telling you uh, to take care of your body more. Maybe you've been neglecting your physical body, uh, maybe eating at random hours, not getting enough sleep, um, not being present with your body, maybe not uh, exercising or moving your body much and being a bit also too much in the head, uh, having your focus scattered here and there and your energy and uh, um, feeling a bit unease and agitated, agitated. Um, and your angels are also urging you to start meditating or meditate more 
just spend more time with yourselves. Uh, this is a very solitary group now. Um, feeling that you just need to connect more with you inside out, your body, your mind, your soul. Okay. Spend time alone in nature or in your home. Um, in proper isolation. Uh, in, in silence. Just, just practice the act of listening. And uh, when you quiet your mind more and it's not as busy and you're more aware and conscious, uh, that's when also your focus will be more stable and productive and precise and uh, yeah, more productive. You're going to be focusing on things that uh, are more productive for you. <clears throat> more beneficial and that you're not gonna be wasting time here and there and uh overdoing it and passing your limits and i also get that your body is starting to talk to you now like maybe you have some aches and pains here and there it's just it's just your body trying to talk to you because uh, you haven't been paying attention and you need to focus on you now this guy is also looking at this uh, woman this card that says body care and um yeah that's your priority now you guys your angels are, are saying that so let's see what else comes for you okay again a card with focus okay so hmm Well, um, the good news is that you're going through a stage that uh, is not going to last long, okay? Um, whether it's with your physical body or I, I also see emotional heartache here and just moving on and getting away from a hurtful situation that caused you some pain, um, some disappointment, some despair, some heartache and loss uh, you're moving away from that you're moving on uh, which really takes balls to do so because some people just stick stuck there and you know going through the same stuff over and over again uh, but you have the guts and power and will and you're moving away from what doesn't serve you you just need to adjust your focus a bit because yeah, maybe you moved on, but maybe you're still focusing there or, you know, trying to analyze things a bit. Uh, we have two fives here, but uh, that's what I said before about the, f the situation. That the fives are not long lasting. They're just um, a stage, you know, it's, it's just a process that you have to go through to uh reap some benefits and go to better uh situations but um it takes adjustment of focus and it takes awareness uh, because y you you are a bit guarded and defensive okay i'm not gonna lie that's how you that's how it feels with these energies um you guys, you gotta stop fighting, okay? Just drop the weapons, drop the shields, just quiet your mind, adjust your focus a bit, uh, a step at a time, okay? Just take it easy with yourselves. Uh, pay attention to your body, your mind, yourself now. Strengthening bonds. In reverse, this card means to pay more attention to it. So strengthening bonds, and I feel this card is telling me to strengthen the bonds with yourself and again this is a physical card so with your body with your home your environment your energy with you like uh, grow your roots deep into the earth so that you can bloom because it's springtime now and it's a shame for you guys not to bloom because 
you have all this capacity here and all these opportunities also um, so find find that peaceful place within you or out in nature or in your home that quiet place when nothing and no one can disturb you the woman is smelling at a flower here so do enjoy the little things take time to smell the flowers have some flowers in your home uh, do some gardening outside in your garden if you have or you know buy some plants to have in your home we have trees here as well and beach also water may be very healing for you at this time if you cannot go to a beach just do a cleansing shower ritual imagining the water washing away all your problems and worries and if you have a hard time with your mind if it just doesn't stop uh, when you shower sometimes when I shower I just start singing so that I don't <clears throat> think constantly you know so just start uh, like singing or tuning uh, like ooh, just you know something to distract my mind and be more present in the now uh, but meditation comes strong here and uh, that's that's what's gonna help you with your focus because you can just you can't just focus when you're used to think many things at a time and uh, multitasking and uh, not even resting enough and it's just it's just it's just overload you know it's just uh, <laughs> too many tabs in the browser you know and you don't know which tab to focus on is like you don't know where to start from <laughs> kind of like that i'm feeling with this so um get some more rest okay it's some nutritious food and uh when you wake up in the morning you know have your tea or coffee or whatever you're having and uh get ready be dressed or not to you and just sit in a quiet place to focus on your breath for a while um, start start to breathe deep, deeper and deeper and uh, just sit there set aside 15 or 20 minutes and try to do this every day in the morning or in the afternoon or in the night uh, you can do that as many times as you want, uh, like even five, 10 minutes is good enough, but um, my advice will be to do that every morning, uh, about 15 to 20 minutes, okay? If you can do that, uh, you're gonna see a difference fast and uh, you're gonna get uh, over these five energies away faster. And, Uh, because you're a really powerful creator and you create with your mind and you just need some adjustments now and maybe your ancestors and personal loved ones were like very uh, really protecting their stuff and uh, you know being guarded uh, about many things and uh, you know having challenging times and uh, having a lot of uh, struggles and so they were used to this defensive uh, fighting mode you know they had their shield up um, and they want to tell you that you don't have to do that here now where you are they they've done that okay they've done that you don't have to do that um, just uh, take away your focus from all that stuff that makes you feel that way. And uh, find the serenity and peace in your mind, within you, in your energy. Um, and they're also telling me that when you quiet your mind more, you will listen to them more. You will listen to messages from swords, from your guides, from your 
ancestors, your past and loved ones. Maybe they have things to tell you, but because you keep thinking about things and worrying and being defensive. Um, and I'm not saying you're not uh, justified for that, okay? I know that you may be experiencing re some really hard times now, uh, but uh, they, they want me to remind you that you are the eye of the storm. So whatever happens outside of you, you can find the place within to calm your soul and listen to yourself more and focus on what really matters. And you matter. You matter more than anything. You, your body, your mind, your soul, your heart, your peace of mind, your state of being. And maybe these hardships are here for you to help you practice your focus more, you know? Because it's a creator that you are, because I get a lot of magician energy from this group. It's a creator that you are, this powerful creator that you are. It's important to remember as this creator that you are, that your thoughts are very powerful and it's important to realize what you're thinking of and what is coming because you're gonna probably see <laughs> a coherence to that. Um, what we think we become, right? So. And maybe people have hurt you, maybe, you know, all that stuff. Um, but it's, it's, so, it's all for you to connect more with you. And uh, find that treasure within you. That uh, also leadership quality that you have. A lot of magician energy with this one as well. Um, to really create your reality in the physical. And they are helping you to do that, your guides, all of them, all of your guides. They're helping you to do that and to focus on what really matters. So yeah, we live in a world of duality, like this feather that you chose black and white we live in a world of duality you know but uh, we are one we are one being we can't transcend that duality by being the whole of who we are you know by being this love the, the 5d consciousness the five the fifth dimension is not a place it's a state of being It's a vibration and when you quiet your mind uh, and, and why and why do people suggest meditation and I believe that too why because it's easier to quiet your mind even for a little while than to just start thinking positively from a state of not feeling so well like it's very too because what you want to do basically is to release the resistance so by quieting your mind and not thinking those thoughts that bring you resistance and make you tired and make you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and seeing so many hardships and things to defend and situations that bring trouble. Um, when you quiet your mind, you, rele you, you release those thoughts and those thoughts are the ones that bring the resistance. So basically you release the resistance and then your vibration naturally rises. You are more aware, you're more conscious, you feel better, you feel more empowered, you feel more control of your emotions, of your thoughts, of your focus. And the focus is really important for you guys group number three because wherever we focus we direct energy so 
your guides and your past on loved ones want to remind you the power that you have, the power of your focus. So yeah, focus is energy, energy is currency, what, what are you buying, what are you buying with your attention, you know? What do you want to build, what do you want to create? These are some questions that you might want to ask yourselves at this time. So let's uh, see if we can get a channeled message uh, from your... Uh, Passed on loved ones and uh, ancestors and guides. Give, give me some time, please, guys. They really want to comfort you and help you open up your heart. They want to help you direct the energy from your mind to, to your heart space, to the feeling place, to feel more and think less. So they say, it's okay, don't you worry. Nothing lasts forever, we know. <laughs> Be here and now. We love you, we are with you. And they also wanted me to give you two, uh, two symbols, okay? Be here and now. It's a symbol I also use a lot. It's the sun cross. If you wanna check it out, you guys, sun cross. Um, you, you're gonna find many meanings for it though, but the, the purpose of this symbol is to remind you to be here now that everything is here now okay and the other one is the circle with the dot in the middle which is all about the focus focus the singular point of focus this is also the symbol of the sun Focus on you, focus on your center. Um, also, one thing at a time. Because when you multitask, you might think that you're getting a lot of things done, but um, if, if you do that long enough, you're gonna notice that uh, your energy goes everywhere and it's not focused. And then you might lose the track of your focus um, more easily this way so yeah that's really interesting it's really interesting this this group is really interesting okay let's see what message abraham has for you from the well-being cards for my group number three please i was fast really interesting group okay uh, oh yeah, yep, yep, yep. It is my dominant intent to look for what I want to see. Everything that we've been saying, right? The liberate focus. It is my intent to look for what I want to see. What do you want to see? What do you want to see? You don't have to see whatever you don't want to see. <laughs> As you deliberately look for things to appreciate, praise, or enjoy, you achieve vibrational harmony with your own source and with all that is good. 
And then the powerful law of attraction brings more good things to you. Totally. Because we live in a law of attraction universe which means the more we focus on something, the more of that essence we bring into our experience. So being intentional about uh, what you're focusing on or what you're doing, what you're thinking, um, and being appreciative and thankful for things uh, helps you to be in alignment with your own source, with your own soul, and so, and so. <laughs> Uh, and so more good things come to you and that's how it works so yeah take care of yourself guys don't forget yourselves okay you are you are the priority right now okay no matter what or who or why or where you are the most important thing in your life the most important person the most important energy your uh, task now is to focus on that and just clear your energy you know get some strong boundaries with yourself as well if you need to Because uh, you are coming into a greater uh, connection with yourself. In a way that you haven't before. Or maybe you had when you were a child. But uh, now you're doing it more consciously. Or you will be doing it more consciously. Especially after you've watched this video, I guess. Um... So that's what I have for you, group member number three. I hope that you enjoyed this and that it resonated with you. If it did, feel free to give it a like and subscribe for upcoming videos. And I will see you next time. Thank you guys. Bye.